Hello creative tartanites and welcome to day 27 of Tis the Season to be Jolly Journaling. Now for me personally, at this time of year, I much prefer giving. As, much, as nice as it is to receive presents, I get much more enjoyment and excitement out of giving presents. And so for that, today's prompt is what is the best gift you have given this year. Now, as I'm recording these in advance, I can't really answer this on camera, um, so I'm not going to answer. But, um, you know, when you're journaling this, you can think about what was the best reaction that you got, um, what you, you know, what was the most excitement that you got out of giving a particular gift? Um, was it something that you made that you got a lot of enjoyment out of? Um, to then uh, see some really nice uh, feedback from their reaction when they received it, that kind of thing. So let's get on with this page. Because again, it's about gift giving, um, I thought um, I would run with the theme of a gift box. Uh, and um, I have already cut out uh, my gift box. Uh, I've cut it out into... Um, sections and I it will all become apparent uh, very soon um, so that is essentially my box but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this front panel liftable so I'm just going to pop this book out of the way for the moment because uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hinge this. If there was no pattern on the paper I could have just cut out this, the full template, and folded this so that it had a hinge but because I chose to do stripy paper um, I discovered that actually I really should have um, done the, the stripes in a different direction uh, to help with the perspective. Um, as you can see the stripes are slightly out um, but that's okay. I'm just going to run with this. Now to make my box I simply drew on a bit of paper So drew on a bit of plain white paper and then I cut it out to do the stripy bit. Obviously it was straight on. In fact, to do the edging uh, was straight on as well. Um, but to get the to get the stripes going the direction that they're meant to go in, um, I just turned the paper and found a spot where it looked like it would be the right direction. Now I could have spent a lot more time getting the stripes to completely match up but I didn't. Sometimes it's just about quick and simple and easy and not making life too difficult for you. Because it's going to be folded up, I am going to use some washi tape because then when it's folded up, part of it is going to be seen. So I'm just going to pop that down like so. And I am going to cut around about it, like so. So that 
is oh, my finger. That's the hinge. So when it's stuck down, that will lift up. So I'm going to just stick this part down onto the page and I'm going to use double sided sticky tape for that part. So there you go, that flaps up like that and then I'm going to stick some double sided sticky tape on this and stick that in there. There we go. That is the box and there is the flap. And so I decided to make life less complicated and less difficult today and I have just simply done that. Now I could embellish uh, with some ribbon or washi tape to make it look like ribbon, um, put a little bow on the top but I just want to keep this quick and simple for the beginners out there and as you start to get used to doing these kinds of things you can then start to embellish them a little bit more. So I'm going to embellish my box just a little bit more, just very simply. I'm going to stick some washi tape down. Now the only thing is with the edge, it's, it's not narrow. So maybe what I might do is just leave it with just the one. And as you can see, it's it's not actually working because the perspective so this is probably too thick so I think what I will do is I will cut this down so you're getting a little less in, in perspective because it's going up and over there's what's called foreshortening So I'm cutting off the edge like so, so we get that foreshortening like that. Oops, it's not quite not quite straight. So it's not quite catching the edge, but that's okay. There we go. So that shows you a little bit more about the foreshortening.
and just like yesterday's box I am going to stick a little gift tag on there we go there we are there is my 3d flip up with a little extra tag box I hope you have enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing uh, your photographs of your page today in the group. So don't forget, if you're not already a member of the Creative Tartar Night tribe, there will be a link in the description below. You can click on that and join. That's on Facebook. We do challenges uh, monthly and there's lots of chat and sharing of creativity and all sorts of, of fun so thank you very much for watching think nice thoughts look after your mental well-being because nobody else is going to i'll see you all again tomorrow bye for now